Hello everyone. Today I am going to explain how to analyze a continuous beam using a StatPro software. For that beam, we should draw SFT as well as BMD and we should find out what is a support reactions. So here you can see uh, the whole continuous beam is divided it into three span that is AB, BC and CD span. On AB span, we have UDL of 20 kilo Newton. It is spread over 3 meter. Complete span length is three, uh, 5 meter but UDL is spread over only 3 meter. It comes under live load. The next one is point load. It is 10 kilo Newton. It comes under dead load. It is at a distance of 1.5 meter from support B. Third one is UVL 30 kilo Newton. It comes under dead load. First of all, you should observe two things here. From the support, the UVL is at a distance of 1 meter. So, the initial point is at a distance of 1 meter from the support C. Then from here to here, it is spread over 2 meter length. So, uh, this is how they have given the loads along with their magnitude and the span. While calculating, these points are important that is uh, the dead load, live load, how much is a span and uh, from what distance for example from B load is at a distance of 1.5, from C the load is at a distance of 1 meter. So these things are important uh, when we substitute in the software. Uh, the next is about the material. It is made up of, beam is made up of concrete and its size is 230 mm by 450 mm. So, for this given details or for this question, we should analyze and we should draw SFT and BMD. Now, we will use StatPro software and we will analyze the question whatever we have uh, seen. So, click on new project. There, click on plane. Just give a file name and the location. Keep the units in meter and kilo newton. Click on next, add beam, finish. You will get a screen like this. Just close this window which is towards right. Just click on that and now we should give the coordinates value coordinates value or uh, node value here we have three axes x y z but according to the question you can clearly see the uh, movement is only in x axis not in y axis not in z axis so x and uh, sorry y and z will be zero only in x axis we have a value. So, from the support A, I should go to support B like that. I will go from B to C, C to D. The origin is 0. We will start with this point. The origin is 0. But after origin, if I want to move from A to B, the distance is 5. So, go back and just click the origin value. Origin is the initial point. So, x is 0, y is 0, z is 0. From A to B, the distance is 5 meter. I, you can see the node here. A node is here, B node is here. At the distance of 5 meter, B node is here. And please be careful while uh, giving the values. Here, BC span is 3 meter. But the thing is, you should consider whatever value or whatever um, coordinate um, uh, coordinates number you are uh, typing there. It is 
with reference to the origin with reference to the origin be it is at a distance of 5 meter like that with reference to this point c is at a distance of 8 meter so the next thing should be 8 then like that the last one is d the d is at a distance of 12 meter from a so for to get this c support i should enter it as 8 okay just enter then the next one is that is for d node it is 12 like this all the four nodes is over i have got the nodes so just click on the screen and select this first option which is present towards left that is view from pleasant these nodes will become straight after that click on add beams option click on that and you should connect from one node to the other node so from a to b it should be connected that is one span from b to c it should be connected again from c to d one more span it is connected like this we have got three different span geometry of the beam is over the next is about the supports or property whichever you want you can go first just click on general you will get support click on that here come towards your right just click on create click on pinned all the supports are pinned so click on pinned add again select this support to support to is nothing but pinned just click on that use cursor to assign option should be in use cursor to assign for that your node should be in node cursor please make sure you have two different type of a cursor one is for beam cursor one is for node cursor we want a node to place the supports so i should click on this node cursor just drag on the beam like this then automatically it will show where are the nodes so uh, the red color is the nodes at that point support should be there so uh, the option got uh, changed to assign to selected nodes yes i should assign the support to the only for the selected node so just click on this assign yes fine the support is over now it's about property again inside the gen, uh, general we have property click on that what was the property it is beam is having a width of 230 mm depth of 450 mm the material it is made up of is it is concrete so just click on define here select a rectangle and the depth is here while entering be careful here yd stands for depth zd stands for width so which one has come first you should observe here depth has come first um, 450 mm was a depth but here unit is meter so i will convert it it will be 0.45 has a depth width is 0.23 meter has a width add close okay so property has come here so now what we can do is we can uh, give assign to view option why because the whole beam is made up of concrete so obviously i can give assign to view or assign to the selected option uh, beam whichever you want you can do it if i drag the cursor and select like this option will get changed to assign to the selected beams if not just click on assign to view then assign yes again this will become red and the property it has taken as r1 see 
all the beam property is same support is over um, a property is over next is a load how to apply the load so click on load and definition there click on load case detail add i want two folders two separate folders one is for dead load so the first folder name is dl one is for live load second folder name is ll so close it i have got two different uh, fold separate folders on the uh, inside these folders i should segregate the loads now so the dead load is 10 kilo newton 30 kilo newton live load is only this udl which is of 20 kilo newton now i should assign this okay to so go back there click on dead load just click on add or um, uh, keep one thing in mind always in dead load folder the self weight load should be there always it will be present self weight will be there for any structure click on self weight load and the factor should be in minus 1 and y add self weight is over next is about the point load so to assign that point load i have selected member load in that click on concentrated force so the concentrated force means point load point load magnitude was 10 but here i am typing it as minus 10 why because it is acting downwards so when the load is acting downwards if you don't mention minus 10 then that load will go upwards so don't do that it should be minus 10 and check this d1 and d2 d1 is the distance from the nearest support to the uh, load so which is the nearest support here the nearest support is b so the distance from b to this uh, load is 1.5 so click on that sorry enter 1.5 for d1 d2 we can't see so leave uh, like that just click on add after point load it is uvl so click on the trapezoid so if you click on this trapezoid you can observe the two distance that is d1 and d2 what is this d1 and d2 is it is a distance from the nearest support to the initial or starting point of the load okay that is d1 d2 is the distance from the support distance from the support to the final uh, point of the loading so that is d1 and d2 let's check how much is d1 how much is d2 so the d1 is 1 meter from c to this initial point is 1 meter i will enter it as 1 meter d2 it is very very sorry it is very very important d2 is from the point c up to the last point of the loading don't go wrong here don't enter 2 it should be 3 1 meter plus 2 meter from the support c so it should be 3 meter here next it is all about w1 and w2 w1 is 0 why because initial point of the loading is 0 and w2 is 30 so i will enter it as minus 30 if you want you can observe here the first initial point is 0 and the final uh, loading point it is 30 kilo newton it is acting downward so i have mentioned it as minus 30 so add it close self weight is there point load is there uh, uvl is there these things comes under dead load now it is live load under live load click on live load add under live load we have udl so go and select member load under that uniform force how much is the udl 
UDL is 20 kilo Newton acting downwards but the thing is where is the initial point of the loading initial point of the loading is exactly on the support and the final point is with reference to the support A it is at a distance of 3 meter. So W1 is minus 20 it is acting downwards D1 is 0 as there is no distance between uh, the support and the first point but the D2 is 3 meter just click on add close. Now we should assign these loads. So click on the self weight, self weight will be on throughout the beam. So click on self weight, click on assign to view, assign yes. You can observe one thing, if the load is assigned, the notation will be like this dotted line, uh, dotted thing. But if the load is not assigned, till now we have not assigned this point load. So it is showing like a question mark. So that is the difference we can make out which load is assigned, which load is not assigned. So I will uh, continue with this point load. Where was the point load? It was on span BC. Click on this. Don't, don't even uh, give assign to view. Be careful. Use cursor to assign. That is very very important. Just click on bc uh, span and then you change the option to assign to the selected beams only for this beam i have selected so it has become red so assign to selected beam assign yes exactly this is support b exactly from support b the point load is uh, is at a distance of 1.5 meter point load is over next is uvl uvl was on span c d so click use cursor to assign just click on this next change the option to assign to the selected beam assign even uvl has come now udl same procedure click assign to selected beams assign yes but the thing is you can observe here if I uh, click here the load has come uh, now it has got decreased but if the load uh, initially just now you had seen that uh, the height was uh, uh, too large or it was the loading was too big. So if you want to by chance if you have any conditions like that what you can do is just right click click on labels go to scale and change this scale option that is you should vary here okay let us check how is the point load okay point load has become this much small if i want to increase or decrease let me see what will happen uh, load scale here it is for the load scale point load uh, already it is 5.566 is there let me check if i increase what will happen i will make it as 25 apply okay if i enter 25 the point load is becoming too small i don't want it so what it means now i should decrease the value to increase the height so i will give it as 3 let me see that 3 apply ok now the height is this much I don't think so I can I want this much height a point load so I will keep it as 5 5 is better just to show you I had mentioned um, like I wanted to show this part this is for a point load point 4 stands for point load if it is a UDL or UVL go for this that is distance force for those things you should click on this distance for and a force and you should change these value it is just trial and error there is no fixed value according to the height you should increase or decrease you should uh, see check 
and you should do it then apply ok point load is this the UVL is this much what about this UDL yeah even UDL is small now we have assigned everything if you want to uh, like after this what we should do is it is just a analysis that is a final case before that what we should do is uh, here you should observe one thing I had created a separate folder that is dead load and separate and live load as separate so for this just click on load case details add and go to define combinations this is very much important define combination I will name it as dead load plus live load and the factor by default it will be 1 here just shift everything towards right side ok I will tell you what is happening here if I select only live load and if I use this aroma only live load will go to right side what is happening here is whichever folder is towards right side only those loads will be selected for the analysis purpose I don't want dead load to be separate live load to be separate I want all the dead load and live load put together what is the final result I want that so what should I do again click on this dead load send this or else how you can send if you want to send it together two folders together so it is double folder um, uh, symbol click on that now whatever result we are getting it is the combination of dead load and live load so add and close we have a combination now result will come for this combination ok combination is over now we should do the analysis part so for the analysis just go and click on the command analysis perform analysis ok again command post analysis print analyze result yes go to analyze run analysis save if there is any error error will appear here but in my file I have not got any error so I can go to post processing mode done it is asking again it is asking which result you want uh, I want the result for only this folder that is combination of both live load and dead load combination if I want separate results I can click any one of this and I can send like this ok so I don't want that I want the third folder to be um, used for the analysis that is combination of dead load and the live load send it apply ok so you have got the result but what result you have got is I will let you know just click on this FY you will see the uh, to increase the size just hold the control and use your mouse uh, wheel in the mouse you have a wheel kind just rotate it this will increase the size of the shear force diagram now whatever diagram we are seeing it is for shear force diagram to get this I should click on this FY shear Y force if you click that then only you can see if you don't select that you can't see anything I have seen uh, I can see only the diagram but I want the results so go to results view value go to beam results there you just click whichever you want you want end maximum or midpoint uh, for the shear let, uh, let us check just click on annotate close so this is a answer for the shear force diagram you can observe the values here it is 
42.384 is a maximum value here. Here it is minus 29.809 kilonewton. So this is a result for shear force diagram. Next I want um, what I want it is bending moment diagram. So again unselect this but select mz bending uh, mz means it is bending z moment okay so again hold control just scroll you can increase the size for this this also you should go to result view value beam results bending max anyone you can select if you want only the maximum just select maximum if you want only the ends so select that i want all the three values so i have selected that okay okay first what i should do is i should just unselect this just annotate close see if we annotate we can see a overlapping so let me see what will happen if i remove the end results or the midpoint results yes if i remove the midpoint result or if i select only the maximum bending uh, uh, value i can clearly see the diagram along with that i can see the results uh, here is a maximum value you can see this is a result for bending moment diagram okay bending moment diagram is over shear force diagram is over now it is a support reaction to get that you can see the um, option called a reaction towards the left click on that this is a support reaction completely you can see along x it is 0 z 0 fx fy fz are sorry not f it is mx my and mz are free only y value is here that is 42.384 kilonewton 44.166 kilonewton at support b at c it is 23 at d it is 19.510 kilonewton so this is how the analysis of the beam is done so this is a result okay uh, again to get the result you should go and click uh, on the view values this is how we can analyze the beam okay hope you uh, have understood very well thank you